dinner in my Mr. B thermal cooker is coming to you in the form of taco Um I have my ingredients all prepared. Nice glass of uh, Cabernet Sauvignon going in. And um, at the moment I am just browning off our chicken thighs. Get a good heat going and um, I'll get that burning nicely. Ouch! Um, sorry, just got a spit of oil. I'm trying to be careful not to have them stick to the base of the pot. Um, now what I'm going to do is I'll have them brown off nicely take a, a number of minutes for that to happen and then once they've been browned off I'll transfer them over onto a plate and start with browning my or sweating my onions and crisping up my rashers or bacon lardons can be used as well. Now the recipe calls for um, thyme, parsley and garlic but um, I'm using dried thyme instead of fresh and the same with my parsley and I also cheat drastically with using ready minced garlic because um, I don't use garlic often enough to warrant having um, cloves sitting around in the house and sprouting so um, just want to make sure that my chicken does not to the bottom too much. Now I'm using um, chicken thighs, uh, the oysters, but uh, you can use any part of the, the chicken, particularly if it has bone through it as well, um, like chicken wings and legs on the bone is ideal. Um, so what is happening here is I'm frying off my chicken until it is well browned on all sides. Then I will remove my chicken pieces and place them to one side. In the same pan I will brown off my bacon and spring onions or scallions as they're known as in Ireland and once they've browned off I will then get my onions mushrooms and garlic into the pot and start them cooking then add back in my chicken bacon scallions thyme potatoes wine stock so, and then add in a bit of salt and pepper to taste and then we'll get all the contents of the pot um, cooking up to temperature before transferring into my pre-warmed outer flask and today I am using um, a microphone, a clip-on microphone uh, to see if I can improve my audio for my videos because sometimes my voice gets a little bit lost over the sound of the, um, the food cooking and will be tied me if I need to use uh, the extractor fan so I'm just trying to uh, avoid all those contingencies Burning off the chicken is probably my most uh, time consuming part of this recipe 
Um, in true Yvonne fashion, um, I've added in my own little extra to the ingredients in the form of carrots because I just wanted a pop of colour and a few extra bits of vegetables. Um, because there is very rarely any recipe that I do that I don't put my own little twist on it. This is my first time actually making taco vat in, oops, in my thermal cooker. Um, basically all the recipes I've brought to you so far have been first for um, my uh, thermal cooker recipes because I bought my Mr. D in um, September of last year and I'm just testing it out. Um, I also have a cup of chicken stock ready to go as well into the recipe. So, um, yeah, looking forward to seeing how this turns out for me in the recipe. Now, all this should take a minimum of an hour, um, but I mean, if um, it takes longer, um, say if you were out sailing or whatever um, or busy doing something else with your day um, and it takes you a little bit longer all well and good so um, yeah the, the chicken thighs are Browning off nicely there, and uh, just give them another couple of minutes just to to be sure to be sure that I have them browned off nicely. My potatoes are uh, scrubbed and sliced just to make it easier for them to cook up, and uh, yeah. I'm looking forward to it. Um, as I said earlier, you have um, rashers, or you can also use bacon lardons. But um, uh, I didn't have any bacon lardons, so I just used some rashers. All cut up in ready to go. So I now have my bacon in uh, browning off and I've just added in the spring onions so uh, I'll get them cooking up nicely. And as you can see I have little leftover crispy bits from my chicken. So I will scrape off my pot and get them all included in with the lovely flavours. So I have added in my onions now along with mushrooms and carrots and the thyme, parsley and garlic. So I have taken off the, the bacon and spring onions and set that aside and they will all be added in in a moment. just want to get the onions sweating. Getting them up to temperature. And then we can start to uh, add in our our chicken and bacon again and add in our liquid ingredients along with our potatoes. So 
so that's my chicken, bacon and scallions added back in and I'm just going to pop the potatoes in and the stock and of course it wouldn't be cock van without the van yeah I'll get that all up to temperature make sure everything is covered by fluid and get everything ready to roll so we are bubbling away nicely and it is now time for me to transfer into my external pot I've been uh, cooking as is for about uh, five ten minutes gotten the temperature well up and transferring over now as you may or may not be able to hear um, I have the cocoa van in my pot and you can still hear it bubbling away happily so minimum of one hour cooking in the in the um, thermal cooker and uh, if it goes any longer that's fine as well and it's one thing I always make sure of is cooking um, chicken really well um, I don't want any food poisoning so uh, yeah roll on dinner because if it tastes anything like it smells it's going to be delicious.